I have owned this car for over four years, and that is a big deal for me. I have owned a lot of cars, and only one other car has lasted longer than the Honda Accord. And that was out of necessity, not because I really wanted to keep it, like is the case with this 10th generation Honda Accord. So this is a great car, a fantastic family sedan, great commuter vehicle. And for those of you who are interested in modifying your car, the two liter version of the 10th generation Honda Accord is a great platform to start with. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my four year long-term review of the 10th generation Honda Accord. I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons. Like any car, it's not perfect. There are a few cons that I will reveal to you, all in a hope of providing you with the information you may need, you may be looking for, if you're considering purchasing a 10th generation Honda Accord. So if you're interested in hearing more, then stay tuned. The 10th generation Honda Accord is a very, very comfortable cruising car. It has a nice sporty feel to it, regardless of trim. But on the touring package, you do have the adaptive suspension, which I have found is very noticeable when you leave it in a normal mode compared to putting it in sport mode. So the sport mode definitely tightens things up, firms up the suspension, gives you that sporty feel. Not too much, it doesn't make driving unbearable. It still absorbs the bumps and road imperfections, but in normal road, it is very comfortable. The steering feel is very accurate. It is not loose and numb like a lot of modern day cars with its electronic steering. Poor steering feel really does destroy the enjoyment out of driving a lot of modern day cars. And the brake pedal, the brakes are great. I've never been wanting for more braking power and the brake pedal itself has really good feel all throughout the range, unlike some other cars. And I will call out Toyota Lexus. I have owned both and multiple cars and I've never been happy or confident with the brakes on our Toyotas and Lexus vehicles. They've always felt a little too mushy for my liking, but not in the 10th generation Honda Accord. Visibility throughout is fantastic. There is very little blind spot, and even in your blind spot, you have your blind spot detection. You have a lot of safety features within the 10th generation Honda Accord, and specifically in the Touring, some features that you wouldn't have found in any other car at the same price or lesser. So a tremendous value. One feature that my kids love is the fact that they have heated seats in the back. When it comes to further features, and I'll put up a comparison here, again, this is a Touring, so we do get things like the adaptive suspension, as I mentioned, but we also get the HUD. That reflects various instrument gauge information, including your speed on the windshield. Inside, the dash itself is very clean. Easy to read gauges, a nice mix of touchscreen for your infotainment, as well as the traditional knobs. I do like the fact that when you're changing your temperature, it turns blue when you turn it down to make it cooler, and it turns red when you turn it up. Yes, a little bit of a gimmick, but something fun to have and fun to see. One thing that I've heard mixed reviews on is the seats. Some people have complained about the seats in the car. And I will tell you, for me personally, they're fine. I wouldn't say that they're great, but I've also had much worse seats than what are, is in the Honda Accord. I have driven this car almost across country. So I have driven it from to Colorado. I think that was about 1,800 miles. And... I felt very comfortable. So overall inside, really, really nothing to complain about. As a commuter car, very comfortable. The gas mileage, fantastic. The 10th generation Honda Accord is also offered in a 1.5 liter as well as a hybrid, but this two liter has gets great gas mileage as it is. 
As I mentioned, I did drive this cross country and I did get 32, 33 miles per gallon, which is fantastic. And that is with 87 octane. So even better, saves you at the pump. Look at all this room. There is a ton of room in the back seat. Definitely enough for three children. And you know what? I've had three adults in the back and it's not all that bad. Not in comparison to a lot of other cars out there. The seat in front of me is in a position where an adult, my wife, would sit. And look how much room I have. Headroom, I'm not a tall guy, probably 5'11 on a good day. And I still have an inch or two before my head would start hitting the roof. With the armrest down, this is very comfortable ride in the back seat. Comfort for two? Absolutely. Enough. Let's check out the trunk. I love the trunk capacity of the 10th generation Honda Accord. This is not something that I was looking at directly or trying to find a vehicle that had a lot of storage space, but since owning it, the volume of suitcases that you could put in this trunk is unbelievable. Very, very happy with how much it offers. It is very, very usable. So what's my experience with the reliability of this four-year-old 10th generation Honda Accord? Fantastic. I have not had one issue over the four years. Now there are some recalls on the 10th generation Honda Accord, which I did have service and remedied. However, I never had any issues associated with those recalls prior to being notified and bringing the car in for the fix. So what's the maintenance been like on the 10th generation Honda Accord? I have to say, first off, I do all the maintenance myself. With that said, it's been the basic maintenance that you would expect, meaning regular oil changes, tire rotations, filter changes, so cabin air filter as well as the engine air filter. And for all of these, I do have videos so that if you do purchase or if you do have a 10th generation Honda Accord and you wanna do it yourself, please see the description below for links. Super easy and it can save you a lot of money. Also had an alignment done at one point. And although we're not at the 30, 40, 50,000 mile mark and the car hasn't indicated such, I have performed an automatic transmission fluid change. So your basic maintenance, doing it yourself will save you a ton, but really should not be expensive if taking it to an independent or even a fairly priced Honda dealership. No car is perfect. So there are some things that I don't like about the 10th generation Honda Accord. Some are small issues that I can ignore and others do get on my nerves more often than I would like. So what are those five things? First one is the stereo. Now, this is one of those things where it really bothered me in the beginning because on the touring model, this is supposedly an upgraded stereo and it doesn't sound like an upgraded stereo, but I've gotten used to it. I don't know if maybe, maybe the speakers have broken in over time, or maybe my ear has just become desensitized to the poor acoustics, the poor sound coming from the stereo. Second is the road noise. So unlike maybe a Toyota, a Lexus, a BMW, a Mercedes, which arguably those are, are luxury cars, it is a little loud. You get road noise from the tires. It's not the quietest. It's not a huge issue, especially if you changed your tires. That can play a big role in how much road noise you do hear. With that said, while this car, specifically the two liter with its 252 horsepower and a ton of torque down low makes the driving experience all that more enjoyable because it has that get up and go at a lower speed, a lower RPM. It does break the tires loose, break the OEM tires loose rather easily. So this is number three. I wish Honda fitted a more appropriate tire that had better grip to the 10th generation Honda Accord, but that's easily remedied. Early. Number four on the list, and this is a big issue for me. Luckily, I don't use it all that often, but when I do, it's a real problem, and that is the adaptive cruise control. If you're driving in a straight line, no problems, but as soon as you go around any type of curve, or if you have traffic to the right or left of you, objects closer to the edge of the road, the car will pick those up as potential dangers and will automatically apply the brakes. 
and that's really unnerving. I wish they came up with an update. It should just be software where they can do a software update and have that remedied, but that is an issue that I really don't like. A great car nonetheless, especially as a family sedan, a commuting car. And if you want to know more about how to modify the car, get a lot more horsepower out of this car, I'll leave links in the description below. We've done some work on this car, tested out some of the aftermarket tunes, and we've learned a lot about the power potential of the two liter Honda Accord. So that's the 10th generation Honda Accord. Now there's a new 11th generation. How does it compare to the 10th generation? You'd hope that manufacturers would improve upon the previous generations and make the car better. Is the 11th generation really a better car? It has lost the two liter turbo engine. With that said, I think we're done for today. Thank you very much for joining and until next time.